Side B. Ooh. What is this going to entail? The B sides. Whoa, this is cool. Wait. Welcome back, Alex. <laughs> what? Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? What is happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. I am so it confused. Felt like quite the victory. This is like a near death experience for her, it's gotta be. Let's yeah. talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. Unless that mind shaft led all the way back to the fucking orphanage that she came from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you know that um you actually went through the uh, the equator just on the other side of the world? <laughs> Here's the orphanage. <laughs> yeah. You're trying. You helped some people. Yeah, and, like this has gotta be like the light flashing before your eyes before you yeah. die kind of thing, right? Got to kiss a pretty girl. Ooh, yeah, we did. I, I, I do. I do like the. Yeah, right <laughs> it's like oh, yo, I went to meet my brother, and all I got is this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> Sorry, I did not hear what she said. I was too busy making a joke. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know. You're right back where you started. That was it. Oh, you don't know anything, right. Alex. You don't even know you're not really here. <laughs> oh, I'm getting like a Stanley Parable vibe from this room. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, mate. Pick up Stanley Parable. I might replay that again. I like the dog. Yeah. What the, the fuck? fuck? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Same. So I'm guessing the folder is going to be like the. Yeah. The. The Typhoon folder. Maybe. I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. This is weird. Okay, Alex Chan, twenty one from our emotional instability, occasional by outbursts, hallucinations, visual hallucinations, or the uh, delusional I addition? Addition? Sure, depression, anxiety, diagnosis, no clue. Oh, down a... What? Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion, but she's able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she's uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopts in the role of an emotional caretaker. Ow. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It is my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being, as well as the those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, her body shattered against each jutting board and errant brick until she's forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Bold. Mm -hmm. kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. Dr. Lynn sounds like Diane, right? I can't remember what Diane really sounds like, to be honest. It might just be a very similar sounding voice, but I, I do wonder if that's like a... It could be, I don't know, you know. I don't yeah. know if that's any kind of symbolism. No, it, it could be. I can't say I noticed it, but I don't remember what Diane really sounds like. Yeah, I don't know if I'm just making that up. Don't belong to Dr. Lin. They sure don't. They belong to Dr. Me. <laughs> uh, Dr. Who? Tuning peg. Ah. Um, yes, I will take it, please. She's texting you at a time like this. Huh. This might be very helpful. 
Any chance I can get Gabe out of that photo as well? <laughs> oh, That'd man. be kind of nice. Oh, this should be good. Um, one missing patient asks Alex. She's always scratching at the door trying to get out, but she declawed so her capacity to fend for herself is minimal. If spotted, please exercise caution when approaching. She will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavioural issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get really worried. Hmm. This post has disabled replies. How did I even get Please back join me in welcoming Alex Chen back to having hands. We're happy, though not surprised, that Alex has once more submitted herself to this stultifying and inescapable embrace of our institution. In light of all the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind Helping Hands residents that impulses to leave our institution, while understandable, are best resisted. Remember, the outside world is a sharp toothed and possessed of an insatiable hunger, and you are sl soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into its mouth? Throw yourself instead into mine. Jesus. Nice, nice, nice phrase there, into mine. Very good. Very good. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ah, I get hey, it now. My guitar. Knock, knock. Who's there? G guitar. Guitar who? I don't know what the joke is. I d knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Iron. Iron who? I earn an allowance Iron. every week. Alex Chen. Remember knock, knock. the fucking. R my guitar and who's Jesus there? Never heard of you me. know. <laughs> Do you know who? Do you know? No, I'm a robot. <laughs> oh, so dumb. So, so dumb. Fuck that game, bro. Five? 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 <laughs> Alright, we've got one in 100,000 shot of doing it. Let's go. Well, it's gonna be a, It's going to be a case file, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're right. You're absolutely be. right. Unless, it's, unless they actually do just expect you to guess. Yeah, I mean, obviously not. <laughs> Is that what I look like? Really? Question. Mm hmm. Do you reckon there are other emotions throughout the game we could have taken? So we could have theoretically taken all six of these at some point. Mm. We Maybe. only saw the angry and scared because they were like major plot points, but I wonder if. Maybe? If that would have been a thing. So what's the number? It's three. Three, five, three, three, two, two. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was unhelpful. There was a triangle blocking it. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not that, that's evil. But I mean, oh, this is that. It's very satisfying. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Yes. Yay! You ready for silence? <laughs> For the love of God, don't do it. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Oh, there is a tuning thing missing. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, fix. We can do that. Okay. Nice. This is very interesting. What does it all mean? <laughs> Yeah, this is not what I was expecting out of... Good. Uh, yeah, this is not what I was expecting out of the ending to this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh my god, okay. I would count yourself very lucky that's all you look like, given the severity of what happened. About to pull an M&M &M and snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Actually, it doesn't look as far as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Uh. That would be why. You got very lucky. Cool, cool. Very lucky by the looks of it. Holy shit. I mean, the other planks of wood would break your fall a bit. You would slow down. <laughs> You just, you, it just happens that that one is a lot more stable than the others. Yeah. Not not that much more stable, but, but stable enough. Which, right now, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. I don't even know how I, I would approach the situation if this is happening to me. Fuck. No idea. 
just pray it doesn't collapse as you're going towards it. You could pray, but to what god? You know, you could always make a wish. Uh, but to what genie? No, it was a Ted Lasso reference. Twas, I, th you're right. Yeah. It's your quota for this chapter. It is, man, it is. If you release these episodes as sporadically as they need to be, it'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Gabe? I, I wanted to read the subtitles like, like yeah, yeah. it was Gabe, Lots you're dead. dead Alex. Just just <laughs> really just really like quickly. Well, Gabe, you're Alex, dead. Instead of the emotional way it was done. A hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Okay. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Yes, yes it is. Did we know what happened to their mum prior? Just that she got ill and she died, I believe. Right over yeah. there. Waiting for me. Oh, my biggest fan. There it is. Uh... It's always too hot in this room. I'm gonna... Mom used to fidget with her keys <laughs> whenever she was worried. Hmm. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Private <laughs> room. We've uh, I guess. we've got a painting in my kitchen mm. that's uh, just like just a white canvas, but it says in huge bold black letters, "Unt C." Uh, <laughs> love so, to see it. It's a good painting. You love to. One of my, but one of my, uh, one of my genuinely one of my favorite pieces of art ever made is something my mum made. Um, she uh, she experimented with. Uh, 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 melting concrete basically and uh, and tarmac um, and she made uh, a very broken road like very bumpy and fidgety yeah. um, but inside it are toy soldiers oh. and it's just it's it's such a cool piece and no one will ever appreciate it here. It's like so. It's like the kind of thing you would see in like one of the top galleries. It's just such a good metaphor. Yeah, that's not the button. Told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's super cool. My mom is a very talented artist, and uh, like wire figures are very popular now. But she was like one of the first in the world to do it. That's bad. She was. She was awesome, we but she never got recognition so for it. Like, people always thought it was really stupid. Like, yeah, bad. no, no, she was ahead of her time. Yeah. It was. Yes, this is going to be extremely rough. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair, 
and eating vending machine dinners. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. 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 Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. This is insane. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. So we missed something the first time. I guess. Or... She's just remembering it differently. Yeah, so this is when she was 10, so. Water. Did I miss something? Mom's keys. Oh, hello. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom, are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... different. For a little while. But I am going to be okay. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Mom, what am I missing? What did we talk about? How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an un... Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Shh. 
No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. <laughs> Will you do that, Alex? Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. Oh, I've, I've had nothing to say for the last, I don't know, ten minutes. Yeah. Because it's just in, it's incredible and very, very hard. Uh, yeah. Just listen to the music. But uh, Drown I'm... Drown out the anger. I, please actually play some music. <laughs> For the love of God, please play some music.
God damn it. Come on. <laughs> Is it just because you don't have the headphones on? That'd be nice. No. No, it's because it's not gonna play music. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not putting the music on. We're just. We're just gonna endure the silence. I guess. That's fine. Feel free, budding editors watching this, to dub your own music here. If you say editors, me. <laughs> well, someone can download the video and. Yeah, sure. Or just put a, put a tune on uh, from a different tab of YouTube. Yeah. Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? All right. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did. I bet there's going to be a lot in this room besides what it tells you to look at. Why wasn't this place falling apart? That'll tell a story. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. We never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Almost empty. Almost always. Oh, God, it's now 2 a.m. Oh. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. Oh, so the, uh, the lucky My cat. job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Mm, fun. Oh, God. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. Those <sighs> full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. I keep those. Like, well, uh, I, I more keep, um, like, I, I used to have every single one, and now I've got, like, things that are personal to me, so. Um, like, you've sent me a couple, I've got those. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. I really appreciated the one at the beginning of the pandemic. I got at you, least man. I managed to that hold was on nice. to you. That was a really nice surprise. Did not see it coming. That's why I didn't tell. That's laundry. So, I like, yeah, I, I like to hope it would make. So well, it had the desired effect. It did. <sighs> Lovely. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. The killer mistress tabs in this book <laughs> weren't even close to right. Oh, this sounds amazing. <laughs> Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was a movie. Son of Lead? <laughs> gory for me. Uh, well, we have to do it at some point. Where are you going? Are you going to tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again, so we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. 
we can sell some records or or what about my guitar we can sell that alex what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him if your mother could see you now i don't want to hear about mom babe <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kinda thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have, and now I'm done. Almost, but not yet. You are 12, I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. Play your part, I think, is a line that's gonna stick with me. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Well, 
There are my strings. Where's my guitar? How you holding up, Shu? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Guess I missed a few days. Wow. <laughs> Has anyone in the world found that motivational? <laughs> uh, I'm certainly not. I'm not we feeling that. We weren't allowed to bring blasts into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. God, they put me on so many meds. Aripiparas resolve. Don't know what that is. Lithium XR methylphenidate risperidone. What the hell are all of these? That sounds awful. 900 mg two times a day 900 and look at the others free 15 like why is that 900 oh my god did any of them ever work some of them helped a little none of them fixed me they used to say this place wasn't a prison Hmm. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Prisoners must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory and uh, outside of designated free time. Classes of where remain in the canteen do not bring these into the dormitory. Non-resident guests are not permitted into the dormitory. Lights out occurs at 9pm every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere to any of these rules or result in disciplinary action. Lovely! Amazing. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. <laughs> you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kind of think you already know the answer to that question. Oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something <laughs> off, broken, wrong with her. 
Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. <laughs> You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. We'll make it better. Be angry at Dad. Miss Mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Is a nice cool bag. What a metaphor for this whole thing. Oh, fuck, man. How are you holding up? Yeah. 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 I like this. It's a tough old watch. It is, but it is surprisingly creative. I wasn't expecting this. Not right now, obviously, because they've just sold the game and I want them to actually make money on it. But I hope in the future, two, three years down the line, this becomes free for everyone so people can experience this. Because it's a very important thing to watch, I think. So it's much in the same way the first chapter of Tell Me Why was free. Actually, the whole game might have been free. Uh, but certainly the first chapter was uh, for a bit. Um, like... It's, yeah, I've got it's to find a way out of here. Pretty incredible. I want to see. Uh... Hmm? Oh, that's so fucking ridiculous! I was looking on. Sorry, I was looking on Google no to see how they were, what the sales rates no, were, and uh, actually, no, I say that. I guess not. Uh, Chinese players who have been unhappy with the inclusion of the Tibetan flag in Life is Strange True, to True Colours, uh, have began review-bombing the game on Steam. What? 
because of the Tibetan flag, which I haven't even I noticed did. in the last four episodes. Yeah. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. So what did Jed do exactly? That's the question now. Hmm. I'm gonna choose not. It looks to mostly recent. Like, that doesn't look like decaying. Yeah, that is weird. That's probably more just uh, suspicious. Laugh, if it wouldn't hurt so much. <laughs> Do we get to take the pickaxe? How it would be helpful, but very heavy. Down here. Yeah, some of this could be recent. I mean, it makes sense. They did set up a second set of explosives, so it must be semi-recent. I guess, but still like I think some of these yeah. as you said corpses would kind of be decomposed by now like even that rat but eh. what's that sound? is that gas? the game has a very positive rating on Steam no. 90% no. No. good no. which is no. yeah no. No. good <laughs> I would kind of love it if the game like just had a pure black screen and then had the text of the words "You are now in control." <laughs> <laughs> just like good luck. <laughs> okay, that's something. That'd be very evil, but amusing. Dude, at the what same if time. this is what if this is the three D version of Mine Haunt? Oh my god! Uh, what if the final thing you see is game over, new high school? That <laughs> is the only oh, but when does Seraphans come into this? <laughs> I, I do actually wonder if that was kind of foreshadowing. Like, I, I, I want to go back and play it and see, like, if there's anything specific in there where it's like, oh, yeah, no, this is clearly a part of the mind we were in. It, do you know, it kind of oh, does, though, boys, already. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No. My teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck us. Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Dad, come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! 
Oh my god. Chen, you gotta stop, man. Chen! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was 12 years ago. How old is Alex now? I can't remember if it was ever explicitly I thought, stated. I thought she was 23. Which means he was 11 when he walked out. She was 11 when he walked out. means it happened immediately after if that's the case I might be wrong on that no I think it adds up I thought, I thought Gabe was 27 We should have fucking killed him during that D and D LARP. <laughs> yeah. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition, going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. I think it's a problem that I've conditioned myself to think that their you, company Diane. name is Typhoid, so every time she says Typhon, it's a surprise. We're <laughs> eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. <laughs> this will be good. Didn't expect that, did you, you fuck prick? I would speak as quickly as you can. <laughs> Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. Yes, absolutely, that one. <laughs> What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father.
hyphen. You're not gonna to keep this mention covered. the point where he nearly killed you. <laughs> in case it jeopardized the vote. Everyone at that company is scared to death. All they do is protect themselves. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine I'm how so much angry you right want now. <laughs> for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No, I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. This is an act. You're lying. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I believe you too. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart, you know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. 
But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the weasley way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I'm not scared of you anymore. Yeah, not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from... cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with it. me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted I'm really sorry this is a load of bullshit <laughs> I don't believe this is getting it. ridiculous we're all getting ahead of ourselves no and what's the important matter I'm, I'm sorry I'm Alex I'm going first thing tomorrow Shh. dad please Come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Dad. My own goddamn son! Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to help people. Because it's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something 
feels fucking great. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices, decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife, saying it in front of your son. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye, but you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. <laughs> if you hadn't tried to kill me, I might have forgiven you. But, uh, you know. <laughs> and I condemn you. coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Stan Stanwick. I don't know why that amuses me so much. <laughs> Mr. Lucan 
is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Tyson's CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Good throw. <laughs> Very good aim, yeah. Flash of Shaxx has yeah. turned it up. The silence is worse. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get some air. I need to get some air. I think what you mean by that is I need After to play my heart. <laughs> I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Yes, please. That'd be amazing. That's awesome. One hundred percent. Can I respond to this? Applications. Mm. I've got some continued support for mm. you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Amazing. This poster Amazing. has denied the replies. I wonder why. Work in this post. It never ends. Uh. Wait, what? So, they, what's this mean? So they've asked Pike to manage. Right. Okay. Sorry. Case. I thought it meant that, like, he. Right. Okay. I thought it meant that he wasn't allowed for a second. I, I misread. Uh, I that. think I might have misread yeah. it, but I think that was it. No, I think I think you're right. Mm hmm. I'm so sorry. Can't look. I worried you all. Huh. Haven't seen her. Keep me posted, will you? Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> nice one. Fucking Jed. Yeah. Hey, Minehort. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I don't even remember how to play. I <laughs> don't care. <laughs> oh, press triangle. No, it's, it's got the how-to. Yeah, there we go. Cool. It's too tr triggering. I can't play. I can't do it. <laughs> There's no old guy with a gun, though, so we'll be okay. Unless you're this... the old guy with the gun. It doesn't look massively <laughs> similar. <laughs> I... Is it supposed to be? Oh no! It wouldn't let me go up! Well, that's a yeah, great start. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I, think, I, think we, we, I think we're fine. <laughs> as as fun as mine haunt is. Um, I thought for a second she, she was like, gonna oh, actually, no, to I want to play some mine haunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I kind of feel like playing a little Wait, bit of mine haunt. <laughs> Wait, before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. I realize why she looks so different. She's not wearing the beanie. Mm. What you did? At the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here too. <laughs> I'm very happy. I can almost feel your smile. Yeah, I, my my mouth was very open. <laughs> very very happy. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah. How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph.
I wonder what the choice of this chapter is going to be. Go with her or not? I don't know. I feel like that would be it, yeah. I guess your, your main choice was if you forgive Jed or not. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't a, like a story, like a main like like rupture choice kind of but thing. But I guess there wouldn't really, really be matter. one at the end as well. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Mm. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Loads of triggering memories. Why would you give that up? <laughs> That's true. You can come back here. Nothing's <sighs> stopping you doing that. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. I have a feeling music is supposed to be playing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've got I'm on. fine with it not, though. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, why couldn't you have like you paid people to make custom music, music. why couldn't you for this scene it's the final scene this is what I mean like this feels like the one big glaring issue and why would you yeah, not just put I feel, I, filler music I feel like the DMCA like copyright claim thing was a last minute kind of we should probably do this for the people who want to stream it yeah maybe but Man, but oh well. still. it is disappointing. Oh well, whatever. Hey, to... oh, you know, you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these aren't getting any views anyway. Hey, <laughs> feel less like a museum, and more like a home. It's nice for the hanging out again. Mm. That is good. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me. The wagon wheel! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh man, all we need now is hoodie guy. <laughs> that was amazing. That was so funny. Oh no. Oh, I do feel quite bad about that. Is she on a date? 
Uh, looks like it. But uh, eh, you got to move on at some point, man. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is that an engagement ring? I didn't even notice, but man, the if it is. The rooftop is your stage. You perform I might be wrong. every week to a small but adoring group of fans. <laughs> Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. Or wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? Huh. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. You've seen how it'll play out if you stay in Haven. Yeah. If I seek adventure, I do go with Steph, right? I don't want to leave her. <laughs> I would just, I, I don't know. I hope. I would, ge I would genuinely be angry if that's what this means. But I do want. I do think we should both go on the road together. See what happens. Make our lives what it is. Let's give it a whirl. I know what I want. Yeah, that was nice. Steph better be on this bus. Why is she not on this bus? No. What? Please. Okay, yeah, good. She's, she's going with us. Thank Christ. Yeah, Thank got Christ. <laughs> it's like, she better be coming with us. Because I would be genuinely so sad if not. I want our adventure to be together. <laughs> We've earned this.
Oh my god, are we going to be playing? <laughs> oh my god. Again, I'm going, I'm going to read all this. Meet me on the rooftop. Okay. Huh. Oh, so this is this is a month and a half. Yeah, month and a half later. Fuck him up, babe. Nice, we'll do. Oh my god. Oh my god, we need to read. We need to read a bunch of stuff. Like that's just from back when, Ethan. Um. <laughs> Ethan thinks we're a superhero. That's kind of cool. Oh wait, what? Is that his dad? Huh. Uh, Ducky, how's Ducky doing? <laughs> Good for you, Ducky. Nice, nice in you. Huh. Can you owe me a new job? <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair play, Mac. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Mac's back. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I don't... Yeah. Oh, Riley. How's Riley doing? Oh, wow, we haven't spoken to Riley in ages. Okay, well... Fair enough. Huh. Is that New York on the left? Times Square? Maybe. Mm, they got Big Gnome! <laughs> oh yeah, they got the note. That Hello everyone. I'm Alex Chen. <laughs> ah. I liked that. <laughs> I liked this game a lot. <laughs> I must say. As did I. As did I. I suspect this music is copyright. I might be muting it in, in editing. But, uh... Yeah, I I was very, very surprised by a lot of it. Um, but, yeah, it just... Yeah, I yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. Also, that's interesting, that concept art, that's a... Oh, no, it's actually, no, it's kind of same. I was going to say, the bar looks a little different now, I think it doesn't actually. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I, I just... There was a lot of themes that this game handled, and they handled them very, very respectfully. Very well, yeah. I want to know what this yeah. song is. I like this song. Yeah, it might be uh, composed for the game. I don't know. Every wave, uh, I would assume that's yeah. what this is. I think so. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah, as as you can probably tell, I uh, I I quite liked the relationship between Alex and Steph. Uh, yeah, as it happens. Yeah, no, I quite it's good. It's good stuff. I really want to look up a bunch of differences between the game. It might it might not be as drastic as we assume it will be, but it certainly felt like it would be in some ways. Mm. Yeah, it was just very cool. It's just a really nice story. I hate Jed, god damn it. <laughs> Fucking Jed, can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it, but I'm mad about it. Yeah. Your thoughts? Uh. I really liked it. I liked it, uh. More than I thought I was going to, to be fair. Going into it. Not to say I thought I was going to dislike it, but I didn't expect to love it to the extent that I did, because I really like it. Um. First game in a long time that's actually made me have to like step out for a bit yeah. and uh, recover from some of the themes. Um, uh, I, I have to say, I I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I was very surprised by this final chapter. I wasn't expecting like 
the past scenes. Yeah. It was effective, though. Oh, for sure. I like this. Do you still have yeah. your fabled review document? I do. I don't really use it anymore, ah. um, but I do have it. Fair um, enough. I mean, I, I can I can bring it out, I suppose. I feel like it's just I I I just always have it in my mind as tradition for when we do these kind of narrative yeah. games. No, that's fair enough. <laughs> but you certainly don't need to. I think the points we made are pretty valid. Yeah. No. I I I the way I like to do things now is I like to just list how I feel about things instead of associating a number to it. Because a number can be misinterpreted yeah. um, as like, oh, it's better than Agi is, or it's, or it's worse, etc, etc, et like, but no, but, um, I mean, so graphic style and graphical design, um, I really like the, I mean, the, the Life is Strange games have always had a really nice uh, art style, but this one especially just really, it really elevated it, it was very, very pretty. Definitely, it looks ways. really nice, I like how the game looks, I like its use of colours. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. I like it. Yeah, its use of colors, especially for its emotions, were really cool. And like they, they, they did some really cool stuff uh, with the emotional uh, aspect, like like the world deforming and stuff. That was that was really interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, well, we can just do it like that. We can just yeah go through each point oh, yeah. and just talk about it music yeah. and audio well <laughs> uh really good apart from the bits that we couldn't hear yeah yeah i mean like the thing is if if it wasn't for the fact that i was recording it for youtube and i had to avoid copyright problems it, music would have been totally fine it would have been amazing <laughs> yeah. sounds like i'm sure the bits we could hear were gr or couldn't hear were great and the bits we we were in here were also quite nice Nothing that's like, oh, this is the greatest sound I've ever heard, but it's, you know, it's certainly nice. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was unfortunate, and hopefully in the next game they'll uh, rectify that a tad. Um, we can only hope. Story and dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ten. <laughs> just... Oh, big. Just, I, 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 I just. I, I, I just, I wasn't prepared for a bunch of it. Yeah. It just made me happy. It just made me so happy. Which is fair. And so sad in other places. Oh yeah. No, I feel that. Uh, yeah. I like, I like the story quite a lot. I like a lot of the stuff that happened uh, in it. I don't know if I'd necessarily go a 10. Uh, but it's definitely high. I, it's definitely a very well told story and a very interesting story that I would recommend people check out. So, definitely a high, a high mark from me. Uh, gameplay and level design. Well, I mean, with, with these kind of games, it's not really about the gameplay per se. It's well, I mean, Minehorn is a solid 10. Let's True. be fair. True, so are Seraphans. Um, so, you know, there, there, is, uh, there is certainly things to uh, know about it. Um, like the fact that they actually did a remake of Seraphans and it didn't feel bad to play, I mean, that, they've really evolved as uh, developers. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's more about the, the narrative. Uh, but it did have some cool ideas. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I you know, I, I liked it for, for that aspect of it. Replayability and length. So, I mean, these types of games are never super long. They're always around 10 or so hours. Yeah. Um, you don't really expect it to be more than that. Um, but replayability... Probably very high. With the yeah. assumption that your, change, your actions actually change things. But on some of this shit, I can't imagine how it wouldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I reckon replayability is quite high yeah I mean especially the the biggest difference is probably Ryan and Steph mm. like how drastically different does your uh, your life become because that also Kat Kuskins I love her she's awesome as is Rhea Patel thank you for being wonderful PR people ah mm. yes I have not met to you or spoken to you but you seem nice yes uh, Cat no longer works with Square Enix, but Rhea does. Rhea is amazing. Um, very, 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 very helpful. Uh, always 
responds with great kindness and uh, yeah, just fantastic at what they do. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just want I just want to res send respect to the PR team because they are the people in this game that I've spoken to, and they are awesome. So lovely stuff. They, they have been very kind to me in giving me this game as well as others, uh, and they did not have to. Very um, kind. But uh, yeah, so replayability. Yeah, it's, it would there would be a lot of replayability. I I do wanna. Probably do a separate playthrough in my own time. Maybe, maybe try and go for the, the trophies. Mm. So, might actually be cool to look at the trophy list to see if like what what the deal is with those. Um, but uh, no, it was a uh, it was cool. I don't know. I'll speed up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me on this little journey. Thank you, Laura Disney. What amazing names! <laughs> Sorry. What? Yeah, it Someone was, has um... Disney is their surname. Amazing. Um, yeah, no, I, it, I, I had to have you for this. Like, it's, it's, life is strange, you know. Sorry, it said in loving memory of Michael Sherlock. <laughs> I missed that. I, yeah, I mean, rest in peace. But Michael Sherlock, what an amazing name. But yeah, no, I, yeah, I. It's always a pleasure to uh, spend time with you and to. Uh, play play games like this. It's always uh, very entertaining. Ah, you're um, very kind. Until until the end when we sort of be quiet because we're in awe. And yeah. It's kind of kind of like, like we can, you kind of there's a there's a time where you have to take a back seat and not really like react to it all because um, the game is doing its thing. Mm. Um, especially at the end game, you know, like it was there was a lot of themes. There was a uh, Important, for sure. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, I uh, absolute pleasure to uh, to play this game. Yeah, I would I would say it was it was a pleasure to be taken along for the ride because uh, it was a fun ride. Mm. <laughs> yeah, big. There fan. is a DLC uh, which is a Steph story. It's I think set a year before the game. Um, so I don't really know what that entails. Um, I do not have the DLC, um, so we won't be covering it. Um, if it was, I, I'm glad that like I found out that it is set before um, because I saw it had. I, I knew it was it had Steph. Um, I was just like, oh my god, like is this gonna spoil like the ending? Like, is, but, like but no, it, it doesn't because it was set beforehand. Um, but uh, yeah, I um, I if if it was following on from this, 100%, I need to play it. But it doesn't, so I, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there you go. So Alex hit the road to play. That's a pretty wow. even split. Yeah, that's interesting. Then Alex announced Jed for his life. Wow, so many people forgave Jed. I would have if Jed didn't just try to kill me the day before. <laughs> mm. Like, making a mistake back then, fair enough. Trying to cover it up now, trying to kill me, no, no. <laughs> but, she claims she didn't to move home. She claims she didn't learn anything in Haven. Wow, 5% didn't learn anything in Haven. Wow. Some member, everyone. Wow, so some people. So everyone can support Alex. If you do the right things, I guess, yeah. Well, yeah, so... It was... Eleanor didn't. Why did she not support me? Maybe because I didn't tell about Gabe? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. That's weird. There's a possibility that none of the council members back you. I mean, it makes sense with Pike. If you don't take his mm. fear, he wouldn't do it. Um, but... Yeah, Alex wanted to help more people in the future... As long as the player music in the future, nice. I just didn't sit on the bed. Oh, I could have reflected in the apartment. Ah, well. Um, Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. Um, oh, that would be because we weren't like in the relationship mm, side of things. I, I think. Reckon. I, 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 I would think. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess there's a potential where Ryan doesn't. F oh wait, no, Alex. Alex wasn't ready to forgive Ryan. 
Oh, Ryan doesn't, Ryan doesn't believe, believe her. her. Right. Unless wow. the bottom one where he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Fascinating. And Charlotte sided with Alex during the vote. Good on you. Eleanor offered to get Alex help. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. Pike sided with Alex. Yeah, so that's, that's the like ceiling fear, I think. Ducky sided with Alex. That makes sense because that's the that's the amount of people... Wait, no, no, it was less people sort of missed the, uh... Missed the ducky thing. Mm. Wasn't it? No. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, so few people believe... Like, believed Alex for Ryan. Yeah. Ryan and Alex don't get together. 71%. Yeah. So there's... Ryan and Alex start dating in Haven. Ryan leaves Haven to be with Alex. Um... Steph stays in Haven to be with Alex. Steph and Alex leave Haven together. Steph and Alex don't get together. There's a fight percent where they don't get together. Oh, is oh that that's gonna be the right. That, yeah, I, things, I, right. I would. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that must I be. Hope. Yeah, because it says Ryan and Alex don't get together. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, I hope so. But yeah, there you go. That's the game. That was Life is Strange: True Colors. I loved it. Life really is strange, true colours. Doesn't work with the subtitle. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a, there's a Steph story wavelengths. Um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't extras out of curiosity. Oh, your choices, all of them, I guess. Huh. That's neat. Mm. Maybe use friend stats as well, if anyone has them. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, the arcade! Yes! <laughs> um, buy more wavelength credits, credits, credits. Yeah, so just standard things. I want to quickly see the trophy list. Because um, it's not spoilers anymore, or at least not really. Mm. Um, so find the business card memory. So it's basically memories that I missed. A, a lot of them. Mm. Uh, find all memory collectibles. Yeah, I think it basically is just find the memories. Help the jelly bean counter. No, yeah, win some contest. of them are. Oh, what? I didn't do that. <laughs> find all memory collectibles. Yeah, find a business card. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of them. Find all memory collectibles. Yeah, like so it's basically just finding the the mm. memory collectibles, for the most part. Um, though. Oh yeah, help help hoodie guy find it. Sorry, hoodie guy. Help Bert, why don't you find a burp? Sorry. Didn't do good on chapter two. Honestly, but... though, fuck Hoodie Guy. He's probably the secret villain. Yeah. He probably works for Typhoid. Yeah, absolutely. But thank you for watching, everyone. Has been a pleasure. And next time... Next time.